हेलो व्यूवर्स टुडे वी विल बी लर्निंग समथिंग अबाउट वी यूज एवरी सिंगल डे समथिंग सो ट्रिवियल येट सो इम्पॉर्टेंट समथिंग सो सिंपल येट सो क्रूशियल वॉट एल्स कुड आई बी टॉकिंग अबाउट ऑफकोर्स पेन्स वी विल बी एक्सप्लोरिंग द फिजिक्स बिहाइंड बॉल पॉइंट पेन्स एंड फाउंटेन पेन्स सो लेट्स स्टार्ट ऑफ विद द बॉल पॉइंट पेन्स एंड सी हाउ इट वर्क बॉल पॉइंट पेन्स आर वन ऑफ द मोस्ट यूज थिंग्स वी यूज डेली and the physics behind the ball point pen is pretty simple a simple ball point pen works on the simple mechanism of kinetics as we write down on paper the ball is attached between the sockets and sufficient amount of ink flows from the ink reservoir to the ball socket through the action of gravity it is also one of the main reasons why ball point pens do not work in space because there is no action of gravity to push the ink down from the reservoir to the socket the major reasons for which the ink doesn't leak out of the pen are the distance between the ball and the socket is very less which prevents the pen from leaking the second reason is due to the high viscosity of the ink due to the high viscous ink the ink resists itself to flow inside the refill and the third factor is the surface tension the surface tension should be at a medium level if the surface tension is very high then the ink won't get spread properly on the ball If the surface tension is low, then the ink will leak out from the sockets. And if the surface tension is medium, it is the optimum level of working for the ballpoint pen. Now this was the physics behind the ballpoint pen. Good. All right then. Let's hope you've learned a little something about how ball pens work. But hold on, your learning doesn't end here. Now you shall learn a little bit about how fountain pens work and the physics behind it. So today. We have seen the physics behind the working of a fountain pen. Fountain pens were widely used when we didn't have ball pens or gel pens. First, I don't have one with me, but I'll show you the four components of a fountain pen. The first one is the container, basically the body with which we hold it to write. The second one is the reservoir, which holds the ink in it. The third one is the feed, and the fourth one is the collector. So the collector is just above the nib, and it is made up of grooves. So it allows the ink to uh, it prevents the ink from overflow, and the feed, which is the most important part, it has tiny holes in it, which helps the air to flow up up the feed through into the reservoir. And as the air flows up, the ink comes down. So this is the basic principle of how the ink comes down comes out from the fountain pen. Now we'll see the process. When we put the nib on the paper and drag it along, the ink is pulled down the feed. by of course gravity which pushes the ink down the reservoir into the feed to the collector and finally on the paper and capillary action which plays a more important role in that capillary action is basically where the liquid automatically draws itself into a thin tube just like how water rises up a plant automatically right so the capillary action in the flowing of ink in a fountain pen has two components adhesive force and cohesive force As we all know, adhesive force is the force between two different types of molecules, and cohesive force is the force between two similar kinds of molecules. So, in adhesive force, in this case, the uh, force is between the ink, ink molecules, and the container molecules, like from here and the one here. And in cohesive force, it's between this ink molecule, which is already almost out, and the one just behind it. And due to this cohesive force present between both of them, the Uh, previous molecule also is dragged out after this molecule already writes on the paper. So this is the physics behind working of a fountain. And with that, we would like to think that you have understood little something about how ball pens and fountain pens work. We would like to thank the Department of Physics of Saint Xavier's College for making us do such a fun project and creating a platform for us to educate others about the simple physics involved in our day-to-day -day life. Thank you.